I just got to the Nashville Card Show and today I'm doing something completely different. I'm going to look for hidden gems in dollar boxes and five dollar boxes throughout the show floor. My best chance to do that is right when the show opens and it just opened. Let's go. It's amazing how many cool cards of really big name players you can find for just a dollar. And that's what I'm doing here on the show floor. I'm looking for the biggest name players because their cards are always marketable. People always love buying cards of the all-time greats, regardless of how valuable or not valuable those cards are. And if you can find deals on it, good doing business yeah. with you. It can be big business too. But let's go through here and see what we can find for five dollars. We'll do a little Bo Jackson lot together because that's a couple of a couple of cool Bo Jackson rookie cards there. It's an AI rookie, right? Yep. It's a nice one. Jeffrey with a G. I feel like I maybe should buy that card out of solidarity. It's cool. Warren Sapp and Curtis Martin. Class of 95. That's kind of a cool card. Just something different. Five bucks for game worn. I kind of like that. I'll do that. Uh, white hot rookies. Uh, not so much anymore. <laughs> oh, that's nice. For promotion use only. Okay. It's another cool Brett Favre. Second year Manning. All right. Maybe I'll build a little Manning pile here. All right, I'm liking some of the cards I'm finding in this $5 box kind of here. a funny Phil Jackson card. Look at that guy. Ken Griffey Jr. Medal. Let's add that to the Ken Griffey pile. What if I should start a Derek Jeter pile, because that's kind of a neat Derek Jeter. Ooh, Jordan. All right, there's some Michael Jordan in here. We're gonna play ball with that. Shaq. <laughs> Bruce Buffer, 2009 Topps UFC. Some Tiger Woods there. National Pride. Put it, yeah, we're gonna put a little Tiger Woods stack together now, too. It's kind of cool, too. Maybe we'll put a little Jalen Hurts together, get some modern football in here. All right, oh, another cool Ken Griffey Jr. I'm liking, I am liking the cards that I am finding in this $5 bin right here. I think these cards are gonna draw a lot of interest. So what do I got going so far? So far I got two Barry Bonds cards. I got one, two, three, four Derek Jeter cards. Two Bo Jackson cards. Brett Favre, one, two, three, four, five. Ken Griffey Jr., one, two, three, four. We got two Dwight Gooden, Peyton Manning. One, two, three, four, five. That's just kind of a cool one-off card there. One Mickey Mantle, that's a one-off as well. We got two Jerry Rice, got a Jordan, got a Robinson, got a Shaq, Woods, Hurts, rookie pile. Think you can work with me on the price a little bit if I buy some dollar cards as well? Absolutely. It's kind of a neat show Montana too. Oh, another Jerry Rice, I was building a pile of him. We're finding good stuff in here. This is why I like getting to these dollar bins and these $5 bins first, because you're gonna get the big names. A lot of these big names are gonna disappear out of these bins over the course of the weekend. And it's fun, another Jerry Rice. It's fun looking through all these cards from over the years. Manning, 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 Manning. Nice Manning. collection of Manning from this. All right, I feel, I feel really good about what I found at this table. Okay, so I've got 39 $5 cards here and $68 cards here. So that's 263. Would you take, uh, would you take 225 for that whole thing? Perfect, good deal. 225 bucks for a lot of really nice value cards. All right, that was an absolutely incredible haul. $275 for all of those cards, and they're all such good name players. Michael Jordan, Jerry Rice, Peyton Manning, so many stars, Shaq, Allen Iverson, Michael Jordan cards. $275 for all of those. And guys, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all of the cards that I just bought, I'm gonna put them into lots, and I'm going on to Whatnot this Tuesday night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time to auction all of these off. So if you like any of these cards that I just bought at this table, you're gonna to wanna to go on Whatnot. Scan that QR code on your screen to download the Whatnot app and we'll hook you up with $10 in free credit in your account when you register using that QR code or use the link in the show description below. And then join me on the Sports Card Investor channel on Whatnot, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, where all of these cards are gonna be sold in lots. There's gonna be some good values to be had. See you there. There's just stacks and stacks of value cards here that look really attractive and shiny. I'm sure there's some great ones in here. So, sir, how are all these priced? Well, this table uh, is $8 for small stacks, $10 for the medium stack, and $15 for the large stacks. It's all the same player. It's all different cards of that player. Oh, so they're all organized by player? Yes. So this catches my eye right away. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of Deion Sander fans out there right now. Sure. So you're telling me, so is this is this considered a small stack or a medium that, that stack? That would be, we'll call that a medium one, so it's 70 cards for 10 bucks. 70 cards for $10, so 15 cents in a card for an entire stack of Deion Sanders cards, one of the most relevant 
you know, fun guys right now. All right, I'm game for this. All right. This is, this is, th okay. All right, I, I wanted good value. I feel like I'm getting really good value right off the bat. And this it's is, fun. And it's fun. I, this is a beautiful table. You would like a player, you can get an entire group in one purchase. I, li I like the way you operate, sir. What's your name? Uh, Gary. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let me look through here and see any other names of guys who jump off. You know, so they got, he's got a whole Von Miller stack here. I mean, Ooh, a Dale Murphy stack. I mean, being in Atlanta, actually, as you guys know, I'm opening up Cards HQ, a big card shop in Atlanta. And so I, we need some Dale Murphy cards when we open. Cooper Cup, I mean, Cooper Cup Cooper is Cups. still very marketable. You know, it's had some great performances. That would be a small stack. So small stack. $8. Okay, all right, I gotta get that one too. So this is Babe Ruth added to a lot of modern products, but I mean, it's, I mean, a whole stack of Babe Ruth for eight bucks. You know, we're gonna have a lot of dollar bins of our own inside Cards HQ, and I think that some of this will be good stuff to fill that up with. How about Fred McGriff, the crime dog? Wow, some nice Fred McGriff cards here. A lot of Braves cards. Of course, I like seeing that. All right, scanning here to see if there's any play. Oh, Acuna, he's got an Acuna stack. Are you kidding me? I gotta get the Acuna stack. I mean, look at that, right off the bat. It's a refractor, one of the 86 top variation, 86 tops variation refractors, that's cool. We gotta get the Acuna stack. I mean, you know, it's a lot of base cards, but you know, it's, it's still, it's still, it's Acuna. And it's an $8 stack, so I mean, all right, I'm building a master pile. Do you have a cardboard box for the road? I, my, my pile is getting very large here. Tom Glavin, gotta go Tom Glavin. Another Braves legend. We'll do this Andrew Jones pile. This was what, a medium stack? So this is a $10 stack. All of those Andrew Jones cards. There's the Fred McGriff stack. Ooh, yeah. I, since you took all the Steph Currys, I'm gonna take the Acuna stack. An $8 stack of Acuna cards. Well, yeah, you got a Trey Young stack over there? All right. I'm going to have to tackle Joe Davis here. I'm going to have to tackle Joe Davis. There's three stacks. So y'all can split. Okay, we'll split them up. Oh, Greg Maddox. Yeah, and Smoltz. I, I, this is opening, opening day inventory for Cards HQ right here of all these Atlanta legends. Oh, a Hank Aaron stack. You kidding me? A Hank Aaron stack. All right, did I buy you out of all of your Atlanta? No, I mean, under the table, I got more. I mean, if you want to bring more out, I'll buy more. The, the Trey Youngs are uh, $15 for the... Okay. Are you doing that stack, Joe? We have three stacks up. Okay. We'll split one of them. And okay. One of them. Sounds good. Okay, wow. This was just an absolute home run. This is the thing, guys. If you want to find incredible, like, dollar cards... Out, and here we're talking cards that are 15 cents each. If you want to find incredible cards at a card show, you got to get there first. Because now I've... I bought a lot of the great cards off this table. People who go through the dollar bins, if they get to the card show first on opening day, they get the best selection of everything. And then if you get there on day two or day three, you're just kind of left with the leftovers at that point. So I'm glad I'm here on opening day and I'm glad that I was able to come to this table first. And now I gotta find a table that's not quite as cheap uh, because I wanna, be able to, I wanna be able to find some awesome cards to sell on whatnot too. So I gotta find cards that are a little more than 15 cents. Uh, but still really good values, like cards that are just a couple of bucks. So let's see what we find. That's a lot of fun. Look at this. That's wild. It, and it says card shop owner. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank very you. Very excited. Thank you. We're excited as well. That's awesome. I appreciate that. All right, so I picked up a lot of the Hall of Famers, but I know a lot of people in my WhatNot audience, they love the modern guys currently playing as well. So let's pick up some of them in this next box. This is a $5 each or three for $10. So you got guys like Jamar Chase and Micah Parsons and, well, Mac Jones. We'll skip over him, Kenneth Walker. But you got some fun players in here. So I'm going to pull out some big names of guys who are very, very relevant in the NFL right now. Guys currently playing. Guys who the audience is going to be excited to see. Oh, well, I mean, there's one right there, right? Any Brock Purdy card is, is not a bad play right now. Hick, Hickey Woods. Back to the Future, that's fun. Evan McPherson, it's a Florida Gator. Wow, that's a nice one. Might have to get that for my son. You know what? I'm not getting that one for the WhatNot audience. I'm getting that for my son Reeves because he likes the Bengals. And of course he loves the Gators and Evan McPherson was a great kicker for us. T-Law Splash, let's get the T-Law. Another T-Law, Meta Mastery. We'll pick that one up too. A Herbert rookie, Herbert's having a nice season. Man, too bad that team doesn't have much of a defense because Herbert, Herbert is one of the best quarterbacks out there, without a doubt, but he's always going to be held back 
unfortunately. It's a beautiful looking Aaron Rodgers card, isn't it? Baker Mayfield is having a surprisingly good year as well. Unfortunately, these Trey Lance cards, I think they're going to have to be downgraded from this $5 bin down to a 50 cent bin here in the near future. So I pulled 13 cards total out of that $5 box. I'm going to negotiate a little bit and see what I can get the 13 for. Less than $5 each, I'm sure. So we'll see what we can get them done for here. All right, so these were uh, three cards for 10. How, mu how much is 13, 13 cards then? 30? 13 for 30? Perfect. Appreciate it. Thank you, Richard. That's awesome. Thank you. Since I'm looking to sell these cards on whatnot, I want to make sure I've got a nice variety of things to appeal to the audience. And while I was buying a lot of Hall of Famers out of the dollar bins earlier, this time I thought let's buy some modern stars who are playing this season very, very well in the NFL right now. So now I've got a nice variety. Wouldn't mind picking up maybe a little bit of basketball too, since that is almost about to be in full swing. And then I will feel like I have done good conquering the dollar bins here at the start of the Nashville Card Show. All right, I found a basketball dollar bin. Well, not quite a dollar bin, between $10 and $25, but still a value bin. I actually recognize the, the case here as well. These are BCW Supplies, you know, different case holders on this table, which I love to see because, of course, BCW Supplies is our official retail partner at Sports Card Investor. You can get 10% off of these supply cases at bcwsupplies.com when you use promo code SCI. All right, so let's see who we're gonna find in this basketball pile here. I'm looking maybe for some, you know, probably for some modern guys who are gonna have some impact this season. Jason Tatum, one of those guys. Now that is his college card from Duke, but it is number to 199, so that's kind of cool. Paolo Bancaro is one of those guys as well who could have some impact this season. A couple of cool early career cards there, rookie cards. Oh, okay, I didn't expect to find a Jamal Murray rookie card in here. I'll take that. You know, there's, there's actually not that many Jamal Murray rookie cards compared to the players who you see today. You know, because back in uh, 2016, they just were not producing nearly as many cards. So it's actually a lot more rare to find a Jamal Murray rookie card than it is any of the guys from the last few years. That's a cool Magic Johnson card. But I'm going, in this case, I'm going for the guys who are currently active and relevant today. An Anthony Davis NBA Hoops rookie card. That's not a bad one there to find in a $10 bin. Be happy to pick that one up. A Jalen Brown rookie card as well. Grab another Jalen Brown and another Jalen Brown. I kind of like those. It's a cool Giannis card. Not a rookie, but I'll grab that anyway. That is a Kyrie rookie from NBA Hoops. We'll go ahead and grab that. And we'll grab a Kawhi rookie too. We'll have an NBA Hoops rookie party there. Shaq and Anthony Hardaway. That was a cool duo, wasn't it? I'm at a bio rated rookie. It's a cool Steph Curry shockwave, I'll grab that. That's kind of a cool Shaquille O'Neal card, goodness. I'm trying to buy guys who are currently relevant, but that's kind of a cool Shaquille O'Neal throwback. So that was the $10, let's look at the $15. That's gonna be my budget limit, I'm not going above 15. Ooh, but that is a nice Anthony Edwards. Now, I don't think that's rookie year. That was a nice one though. Yeah, that's a cool Giannis MVP. So that's in the $15 bin. Wow, that Steph Curry is sweet too. Jalen Brown defining, defying gravity, okay. So I feel pretty comfortable here with what I've got. Got a nice assortment of big name players. So I had four cards from the $15 bin, so that'd be 60. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that is 100, it says that'd be $170. Pulled out 170 worth of cards. I pulled out 11 from the 10, and I pulled out four from the 15. You think you could do 140? Yes, sir. All right, perfect. There we go. 140 bucks. Another good value box deal here at the card show. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You got a nice, very, very organized selection here, which I appreciate. Extremely organized. So good, good job on that. So I did it. I spent about $800 total and I got all of this. And by all of this, I mean all kinds of crazy stuff. I got guys like great Atlanta players, like stacks of Trey Young cards, stacks of Andrew Jones cards. Those types of cards are going in my card shop, Cards HQ. A lot of these cards I'm selling on Whatnot this Tuesday night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. Scan that QR code on your screen once again. Make sure to get that Whatnot app. The link is in the show description below. Join me at 10.30 p.m. Tuesday as I auction so much of this off. This is going to be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you there. Take care.